Since I was young, I've always been captivated by dancers. I've always been so like mesmerized by the strength of their body and the coordination because I have none of it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I can do a mean push-up, but when it comes to dancing or shaking it, not a chance. So today's episode is all about finding that inner dancer and getting dancers' legs. We're focusing on the legs because that's where the strength comes from. That's where the stability comes from. Today's focus, or today's workout is our Fab and Focus series, Dancer Legs. It's a high intensity interval workout with 45 seconds of strength, 45 seconds of cardio, and one minute of a focused movement. So I'm Amanda, your head chick, and we're gonna get started. Make sure before you get started though that you do check with the doctor and get their approval. So now grab your mats, grab your water, grab your weight, and let's get sweaty. not only one of the best cardio workouts that you can do, it's also an amazing strength workout and it's fun. Three of the main reasons why they have those legs and they have that strength are these. Number one, dancing focuses on lower body. I mean, yes, they're using their upper body, but majority of the movement comes from their lower body. Number two, it's a compound movement. So by compound movement, it just means that you're just focusing on those movements. It's isometric, you kind of, you sometimes isolate those movements. You also can change movements and it's small movements. So you're using tiny little muscles that you normally wouldn't normally use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. And then for number three, it's fun. So they have a good time while they're doing it. They're moving, they're constantly just like switching everything around. And a lot of dancers, they use different forms. So they won't just be specifically a tap dancer. They'll be a jazz dancer, a ballet dancer. They'll combine different things so that they have so many different strengths. So by doing that, they're keeping it fun, they're keeping it interesting, but they're also challenging themselves, challenging their bodies, also challenging their minds. So some of the moves that I love personally, because as I mentioned, I can't dance. So I found some moves, some exercises that I love that dancers use in order to build that strength. My top three are these. Number one is a leg extension. So you stand on one leg, bringing your, knee, your other leg up towards your knee and you do a kick out extension. So kicking it out and in, out and in. Of course, always doing both sides so that you balance out your body. You do not want to have imbalanced bodies. Number two is a plie squat. So having your feet out at a 45 degree angle, so it's like 10 o'clock and two o'clock, and you come down and press up. Down and press up. Your knees are over your ankles, and you're pushing through your heels so that you're your inner thighs and your outer thighs really engaging, really working. And then for the last move that I personally love is an extension or a circle. So you bring your leg out in front of you and you can either extend it over to the side and then back or go into hip circles. So by doing this, you get into your hip flexors, you get into your outer thighs, you get into your inner thighs, and you really start working into your core as well, which is so important. You're stabilizing muscles. You wanna have that strength and that stability as well as balance. So those are just some of the things that I personally love. So definitely try them out. We'll be doing them throughout this entire workout. Choose your favorites, stick with them, and in no time you will have lean, long, dancing machine legs. So welcome back from the break. It is now time to get warmed up and get started for our Fab and Focus series, focusing on dancers' legs. So let's get warm. Right away, we're going to start off with leg swings. So standing on your left leg, I want you to take your right leg and you just want to sing it forward and back, forward and back. So what you're doing by doing dynamic stretching is that you're actually causing your blood to flow. You're getting everything warmed up. When you do static stretching, which is the standard sort of stretches that you normally do with the cool down, you're lengthening your muscles. One more time, forward and now switch legs. So standing on your right leg and kick your right, left leg forward and back. I want you to hold your abs in super tight. So like belly button in towards your spine. That might be the hardest thing you do for this entire workout. So just hold it in. By doing that, you're also keeping your back from swaying and keeping all the movement just in that leg. One more time, forward and back. Good, going right into a light jog right here. So just getting the blood flowing, perfect. Just kick your heels back a little bit more, getting your calves and your hamstrings engaged. And now just plant your feet down. All I want you to do is just reach to one side, center, other side. So pivot on your toes, move through your hips, and get everything and just press out. Anna, in the orange, she will be doing our level one variations, which is our lower impact options. 
Laura, on the other hand, in the green, is doing level two. Focus on her if you really wanna push. Warm up done, time to get started. So we're gonna start off right away with squats to roundhouse kicks. So standing with your feet shoulder distance apart, hands in front, I want you to squat low and take your right leg, kick from the inside, out. And then down, then left. Down and right. Making sure that you're squatting low, sticking your booty right back as you squat. So no knees coming forward, everything is back, explode up and kick around. So level one, you're just bringing your knee around. Whoa, I've got to not step back too close to Laura. She'll kick me for real. <laughs> she has long legs. Good, so going down low, use your abs here. So your lower abdominal area is working hard to bring that leg all the way through, kicking it around. Awesome job. We are so close, four more seconds, three, two, and one, going right into alternating forward kicks. Bring your hands up in front and just give me some kicks. So even if you're doing the level one variation, you're just not kicking as high. So like Anna, she's just kicking a little bit lower. Still using her arms, still picking up the speed. So go a little faster, Anna. There we go. So you're still keeping the same pace. You're just taking it down just a notch to take the impact out of your joints. And for Laura, you're kicking as high as you can. Like, give me some Bruce Lee kicks. Like, I want you to go high. There we go. <laughs> there we are, nice. All the way up towards your face. Like, try to find some sort of, maybe at home, you have like a spot on the wall that you can focus on, or you have something in front of you you wanna kick over, like a chair or a couch, something that'll just give you a target so that you're always focusing. And last time, amazing job going into our first round of focus, we're gonna go into plie squats. So hands on your hips, turn your feet out 45 degrees, and you're gonna come down and up. Down and press. Good, you can bring your hands in front or keep them on your hips. And I just want you to exhale as you push up, inhale as you go down. All the weight is in your heels, and when you push, you're squeezing your bottom at the top, squeezing through your heels, like as if you're trying to draw your inner thighs together. Good, now we're gonna start adding Hindus into these. And what that means is that we come up on our toes. So for level two, you're on your toes the entire time. For level one, drop down to your heels, come up on your toes. Down on your heels, up on your toes. This is an amazing, amazing move for leaning out your entire legs. So you're working your inner thighs as you're down. You're working your calf muscles as you push up on your toes, and then you're just leaning everything out. Good, booty's working hard at the top. Squeeze and breathe, always through the workout, breathing deep. One more, and going into our next round of strength. So speed squats. We're gonna start off with just regular squats. Have your feet about shoulder distance apart, hands in front, and squat down and up. Get low and high. Inhale, exhale as you come up, squeezing your booty at the top, pushing your hips forward, and keeping your chest up high. Avoid dropping forward. So Laura, show me like really bad form with your upper body. So drop it all the way down and up. <laughs> okay, now don't do it anymore, you'll hurt yourself. <laughs> so this is what you want to avoid because you will hurt yourself. So by doing that, by leaning forward with your upper body, you're throwing your lower back into the game and it's totally not necessary. It doesn't need to be in there. You need your core to be tight so that you're holding yourself and supporting yourself. Good, and see, as you can see, Anna is still doing the exact same movement. Now we're gonna add some speed. Come on, for the last 10 seconds, as fast as you can go, as fast as you can go. Single squats, all the way down and up, down and up. Five seconds, burn out your legs. Four, three, two, one, five point squats. This is our cardio. So it's like you have two dots in front of you, one in the center and two behind you. Starting low in a squat, you're gonna jump your feet forward, center, back, center. Forward, center, back, center. So envision the dots. Level one, you are still jumping, but say you have some knee injuries or you have lower back injuries. Anna, show me the stepping version of this. So you would step together, squat down, step forward, squat low, step back to center, squat, and then behind you. Exactly, so exactly the same muscles working, the same movement happening, just a lower impact variation. And of course, Laura has gone big the entire time. We are almost done, your heart rate should be up. So even if you're doing the level one, you're going fast and done. All right, kick outs. So standing on your left leg, take your right leg, bring your foot up towards your knee. Bring your arms out, just because we can, and kick your right leg out and in, out and in. 
exhale, inhale. So you should feel this in your quadricep muscle, which is the front part of your thigh. If balance is questionable, grab a chair, hold onto a chair, hold a wall beside you. Find something that is gonna give you that balance. Good. Exhaling as you kick out, inhaling as you bring it in. Are you feeling this, Anna? Yes. Yes? Is your leg burning? <laughs> Perfect. And now let's switch sides. So you're doing one side and then the other, always balancing out the body, standing on your right leg, left leg in, and let's kick it out and in, out and in. Now, as I said before, I am not coordinated. I am not a dancer by any means. <laughs> but what I can tell you is that these are some amazing moves that lean out your legs the same way that a dancer would. So kick it out and in. I know it burns, it's supposed to. One more time, amazing job. Okay, balancing arm work. We're gonna work our upper body. Standing on your left leg, bring your right knee up towards your chest. Bring your arms out in front, and then we're just bringing your arms out, up, down, and in. Out, up, down, and in. Now I know you're probably thinking like, well, what is this working? So we're working your entire upper body just by working against gravity. And you're also working your core by holding your knee up nice and high. And you're working your quadricep, the muscle that we just worked in that last round. All right, let's switch legs. But we'll keep your arms going. So bring them out to the side, hold that knee up high, bring it in, out, up, and down. In, out, up, and down. So this is how you get nice, lean, long muscles, no bulk. One more time, and perfect, balancing or sorry, ballet hops. So we're gonna start with your feet, 10 and two. Hands on your hips, get low, and just a little hop. Little hop, hop. Now this is your cardio, so you've gotta get your heart rate up. That means that you have to jump just a little bit higher. Level one, you can do a little jump, or you can just come up on your toes. So down, up, but you still wanna go fast, so go way faster, Anna. There we go. So getting your heart rate up, and then we're gonna add something to this one. We're gonna do scissor jumps. So going down and scissor your feet, scissor, scissor. So you're kicking your feet forward and back, doing little ballet hops. So Laura, scissor your feet all the way across. Perfect. For level one, if you want to add those scissors, come down and out. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that go. Oh my gosh. Three, two, and one. Balancing leg circles, standing on your left leg. Bring your right leg in front, point your toe, and then just give me some circles going from the inside out, all the way around. So again, this move might feel easy in the beginning, but it's like a sneaky move. It slowly creeps up on you. It's something that eventually just gets harder and harder. Try to kick up a little bit higher. Use your abs, using your core the entire time, all the way around. You should be feeling this in your hip flexors your inner thighs, now switch legs. Standing on your right leg, find your balance first. Left leg in front, and then from the inside out. Inside out. Perfect, bring it all the way around, all the way through. You're doing amazing. We're almost there. It should be hurting. It's not meant to be easy. Three seconds, two. And one, going on to our squats with a leg pull to center. So feet out, shoulder distance. I know lots of squats today. Hands in front. I want you to squat down, bring your right knee in towards center. And then down, right leg. Only right side right now. Pull it in, up, down, up. So you've got to explode off of that left leg to drive that left, right leg all the way up and through. Exhale as you do it. One more time on this side, and now switch sides. So right away, no stopping, just go right into it. Drive that leg all the way up and through, good. And so as you can see with level two, Laura's got her arms reaching up as well, making it a little bit more challenging by working her core into it, working her upper body, forcing her heart to pump blood all the way up to her fingertips. One more time, plie jumps, feet out 45 degrees. So plie squats, starting off here. Get low, high, low, high, down, up, down, and up. This is cardio, so go a little bit faster, a little bit faster. And then now Laura, level two, give me some jumps. 
down, up, up, up. And then Anna, for level one, come up on your toes every time. Down and up, down and up. As fast as you can go, right here. Amazing. Perfect. And now Laura, hold it low and pulse for a second. And we're gonna try a little different thing. We're gonna go pulse, two, three, big jump, pulse, two, three, explode, down, two, three, explode up. Still working your heart rate the same way, still working your entire legs, but just bringing it down a notch. Three more seconds, keep pulsing, two, and one. Amazing, amazing job. Squat touchdowns onto toe raises. So feet out, shoulder distance apart again. Squat down low, touch the floor, reach up high. Down low, reach up high. Down low, reach up high. Now you might be thinking to yourself, what is this doing? What am I working? Well, what you're working right now is your glutes, which is your booty. You're working your quads, which is the fronts of your legs. You're working your core, because you've got to reach up overhead. And you're also working through your calves. So your entire backs of your legs, as well as the fronts, is working really hard, but it's with body weight resistance training. You're not bulking your body up. You're giving yourself nice lean muscle mass. Good, get a little lower. Hands flat, look at that, Laura's got her hands, she's not just touching her fingertips, she's going flat hand all the way up. Flat all the way, down and up. All right, we are so close. This is the time, peeps, that you cannot stop. This is the time when you want to. This is when you're like, oh man, this is so hard. I just want to stop. You can't. You have to push through this. It's difficult for a reason. Three seconds, two, and one. All right, almost there. Reverse lunges, alternating sides. Standing together, feet together. Step back with your right leg. Coming all the way back and center. Now step with your left and right. Now with reverse lunges or with any type of lunge work, you always have to make sure you have the proper form. So proper form is knee over your ankle. So you've got to get nice and low and you've got to try to kiss the back knee on the ground as you explode up. Good. So for level two, I want you to have your hands above your head, lengthening through your whole torso, causing everything to work just that much harder. Level one, Still doing the same. She's still going nice and low. But if you have knee injuries, Anna, you wouldn't be going as low. If you had tight hips, you wouldn't be going as low. So maybe just go about halfway. Just to show the variations. Four seconds, three, two, we're so close. All right, here's my favorite. This is the move that makes me feel like I can actually dance. I have no idea why. This is can-can jumping jack. So hands above your head to start. And it's like a regular jumping jack, but we're gonna add a front kick. So ready, let's go. Down, up, down, up. I feel like, maybe because it makes me feel like I'm in like one of those chorus lines. So, level one, no jumping. You're still doing the same move. You're still kicking your feet up, bring your arms down, making it really big. Level two, adding the jump, coming all the way through, clapping underneath. Let me hear the clap. It's like you're a cheerleader for yourself. There we go. <laughs> like you're cheering for yourself right now, Laura, because you're doing so good. Make it really big, even at level one. You gotta go big all the way through. I want you to make every second count. We're there and take it down. Amazing job, all the way down onto your mat. We're not finished. We are close, but we're not done. So coming into a tabletop position, knees under your hips, hands underneath your shoulders. You're gonna bring your right leg back behind you and then just give me some of those leg circles. So right leg back, point your toe, Come on, make it graceful. <laughs> and give me regular circles. So avoid, as you're getting tired, doing like back and forth movement with your leg or just up and down. I want full circles, full rota rotations all the way through your hip joint. You wanna be working your entire hip, inner thigh, outer thigh. Think about your outer hip. And now switch legs. So after we're done this leg, we get to finish off with abs and you're done. So even if at this point you're thinking, Whoa, this is hard. <sighs> I want you to keep pushing through. I want you to keep going just a little bit more. We're so close. You're at the finish line. You know if you stop now, you'll totally regret it. So keep going. Last second and take it down. Amazing job. So all the way back now onto your back. Slide your hands underneath your booty. We're gonna go into lower abdominals. So bring your legs all the way up towards the ceiling, hands underneath your bum. Now I cannot do these because I've got a mic pack on. So 
Anna, Laura will be my bannons. So slide your hands under, ballerina, lower abs. So kicking your legs, crossing them over, just like little scissor kicks. But I want you to go up and down with your legs. So go down towards the ground as low as you can and then bring it back up. So still scissoring your feet. Now remember with this move, super important, if you have lower back issues, if you're feeling pain or strain in your lower back, just don't go as low. And now hold it up at the top. Take it down to like wherever your midpoint is and give me some flutter kicks now. So pointing your toes and kick, 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 kick. So pointing and kicking. Still going up and down if you can through your hip joints, feeling your lower abdominals and your transverse abdominals working like a seatbelt. Remember, your transverse abdominals are like a seatbelt. They hug you from your spine to your belly button. Everything holding tight. Good, go a little bigger, Anna. There you go. So remember, you don't wanna go right too close to the ground. You only go there if it works for you. Just honor where your body's at. Don't push yourself past where you need to be. And now switch back to those ballerina kicks, little scissor kicks. I know it hurts. Now, if you wanna make these a little more challenging, Laura, can you just lift your neck up off the ground? So by lifting her head and neck up off the ground, she's working into her upper abs as well. So getting her upper, her lower, and her transverse abdominals working. Now rest it back, because you've worked hard. <laughs> you can relax. <laughs> Perfect, keep going, Anna. Keeping your hands underneath your booty, too, helps you to just lift your hips a little bit higher, keeping your lower back a little bit flatter, taking some of the pressure out of your back, and now switch to those flutter kicks. This is it. You're so close. You're so close. Just little flutter kicks. Okay, I'm gonna sneak between you two. <laughs> this is it. So this is at the very end right now. So just kicking, like as if you're trying to kick my hand right here, Anna. There we go. Kick, 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 kick. I want you to make impact. Feel your abs working. Awesome work. You're so close. <laughs> if you're not feeling this in your lower abdominal area, you're probably not doing it right. So make sure that you are feeling this and you may also feel it in your legs. Last second, now hug your knees in towards your chest. Hug them in super tight, hold it in tight. Just rock gently side to side. We're going to break. When we come back from break, we're gonna cool it down. So just relax, let your lower back release and come right back for our final stretch. Welcome back from the break. So now it's time to give your final stretch and cool down. So standing on your left leg, I want you to grab onto your right laces with your right hand. So find your balance, flex your foot so that you get a little deeper into that quadricep. This is the part that's like your gift to yourself. <laughs> so you wanna relax into it. If you have balance issues, bring your hand on your belly button or you can bring your arm out to the side or all the way up above you. And now let's just switch legs. So standing on your right leg, grabbing onto your left laces, and just breathe. This should feel really good, especially on your muscles that you just worked, because they should feel really like warm and tense. So this is when you get to lengthen them out, and this helps, again, with our whole theory today about dancer's legs, having long, lean muscles. You need to stretch in order to get those lean muscles, or else you'll end up bulking up everything. Nobody wants that. Perfect, and then release this side. Step your feet nice and wide and just come over to the right side. So just lean into it. Have your knee over your ankle and stick your booty back. Stretching out your inner thigh. Keep your chest up high, so avoid falling forward. Keep everything nice and tight through your core. You're still active through your core the entire time. And then let's just switch over to the other side. So same thing, other side. Always balancing out your body. Make sure that if you're resting your hand on your other leg, that you're not resting it on your knee joint. You're above your knee on your quad, not here. Perfect, and then come all the way back towards center, stepping your feet in, and then just hook your fingers, bring them back behind your head. One big stretch, and release. Amazing, amazing job. So remember, even if you're just starting on your fitness workouts, or if you've been training for a long time, always make sure that you are challenging yourself. Find something that's hard, stick to it, it'll get easier. Also make sure every single day that you are eating unprocessed, unpackaged, food made with love and that you're spreading positive vibes everywhere you go and that is what we call living la vida fit chick